Okay, today I'm doing a review on the fifth Mortal Instruments book, um, The City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. Um, so I've done a review on the first trilogy, um, and go to that review first if you want to see that. Um, but I've never reviewed the fourth book, The City of Fallen Angels, so I kind of talk about it a little bit here as well. But um, as well, if you're looking forward to the final and sixth one, it's not after 2014. What is that about? A two year wait? I loved the first three books. I thought they were amazing. Just such a good trilogy. So when I heard that there was a fourth book coming out or that the author was making another trilogy, um, I know some people were like, what? No, to save it as the three. You don't need to drag out more. I wasn't like that. I was like, yay, more. That's what I was feeling. And um, even, even after reading the fourth one, I was like, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the other three, I have to say. But it was still good. And I, I thought it was paced well and I enjoyed the story. But after reading the fifth one, now I have converted to the other group. Now I'm one of those people saying she should have just left it as a three. And I truly believe that now. The fifth book was the worst, I think, so far. Um, I just feel like she's just dragging it out now. Like, there's no real story, nothing major. It's just it's a very repetitive. Like, Sebastian's back. We get it. He's just like the new Valentine. And it's just the same thing over and over. It's even Jason Clary still have their, like, stupid obstacles. But it's the author making up, like, annoying obstacles. Um... And yeah, I just feel like it is quite repetitive and there's nothing majorly new. Um, and especially this book, it was so dragged out and so moving. Like I feel like the author could have edited it with a hundred less pages and she wouldn't have lost anything plot wise. Um, like there was no, like the main nugget of plot in there was them trying to find Jace and separate Jace and Sebastian. That was it. But she did that over hundreds and hundreds of pages. I didn't need that much. Like there was even major subplots. And don't say that Alec Magnus thing was a subplot. That was terrible. Um, I, I do like Simon. I, I, I've always liked Simon. And um, I love Luke as well and Luke's relationship with Clary. But there wasn't much Luke in this book, which is a pity. I always liked Jason and Clary. Um, I was always into their relationship. It was epic in a way, but it wasn't too intense. And Jace was funny, and um, yeah, there was something compelling about them. But now, <laughs> am I the only one saying, will they ever just fucking sleep together and get it over with? I feel like the author is like, um, keeps teasing us and it would be fine if they never did and that was fine but no it's the author doing her stupid um they get so close and then they say no they get so close and they say no it's like she can't keep doing that it's getting very irritating now and it happened about 50 times in the fifth book and uh at the end of the fifth book then there's a reason why they can't sleep together like an extra reason so i'm like oh my god this is a dragon. On. Um, I felt like Cassandra Clare had a had a option to go really sinister with the whole Sebastian thing, and I don't think she did it enough. Like she could have gone a lot further, and she kind of chose not to. Um, she could have gone a lot, a lot further with a lot of the aspects of the plot. But she didn't, um, and thankfully there wasn't much of a cliffhanger. Um, but yeah, the sixth book now is just a long way for it, and yeah, I, I, I just think the first three books, there were so many things in there, and like, yeah, there was the straight plot point of Valentine the baddie, but there was all of the little things going on, and it made it complex and interesting, and made you want to read more, but with this, there's not much going on, there's just the same thing, um, dragged out over three books. So, um... Yeah, I know I'm being quite negative, but I mean, besides all those negatives, I did enjoy the book. I mean, Cassandra Clare is a good writer, and um, she created this bun big bunch of characters where you are invested in what happens to them, and um, they can be funny as well. And um, 
yeah so I mean there is, it is enjoyable but I feel that it just wasn't as good as the other three the author now you know she has multiple points of view that's fine because I've already got to know the characters um, but I felt especially in the first half of the book the author was just hopping from story to story to story too quickly like we got I got about two or three pages with the character and then I would hop to the other character and then you'd be like oh I was just getting into that story and then they'd hop to another character like it was just all over the place a little bit and I was kind of getting annoyed because like I wanted to continue reading say like about Clary and Jace and then it would move to like Maya and Jordan um, and their minor problems so I do feel that there was a bit too much jumping and fine but towards the second half of the book this author did kind of slow down a bit and gave us more time in each section so that was good um, as well as well like I don't mind that there is char like there is a big group of characters and they all have their own kind of story so we have each character having their own stories but why do they all have to be paired in couples like isn't there enough love going on? Like, why do we have to have every subplot having a couple? Like, can there be any single characters in this book? They all have to be paired up. Um, so that's just one little kind of thing. But, um, so, I mean, if I had to rate this, my rating, I gave it 2 out of 3. Um, like, the first three books I gave 3 out of 3, and the fourth one I gave 2.5 out of 3, but I gave this 2 out of 3. Um, so, I mean, it was good, but I didn't love it. Um, yeah, so that's my spoiler free review. Okay, um, now I'm just going to do a quick spoiler review, and if you don't want to know what happened in the book, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, um, Sebastian and Clary, that thing could, was like really like sinister and dark, but I don't think the author went far enough. Like at one point, he was trying to rape Clary. And the author kind of glossed over it and it was never mentioned again. Clary didn't even mention it. And um, if the author's going to do something like that, she needs to go all the way. I mean, she can't just kind of like dip her toes in. She has to go all dark or all sinister. I don't think the author did that. Um, which would have been really interesting. At the very end with Jason Clary, like was that really the obstacle? Like, he has fire in him so they can't touch now. Can't ever sleep together. Um... And I do think they're really lovely and they have really romantic lines but that speech in the end went on for pages which made it a bit too romantic and sappy um, so unfortunately but um, Alec, Alec deserved what he got like how dare he trying to take away Magnus's mortality Alec wasn't very really likeable in this book um, I, I do think Maya and Jordan are really cute, but I think you could edit out their whole part and nothing would have been lost. But yeah, so that's my review. I'd love to know what you think about it. Um, yeah, I've read reviews on it and people have loved it, so they mightn't agree with me here, but um, some people are kind of biased in their love for a series. And, but I will always be honest. But um, anyway, thank you very much for watching today and uh, tune in next time.